We're in a new chapter, chapter 10, that's all about time, length, liquid volume, and mass. This is lesson 10.1, and we're going to talk about telling time to the minute. We first learned about telling time in grade 1 and grade 2 math, and there's video links in the description of this video. If you haven't seen them, you might become lost or confused. And we learned that there's an analog clock that has hands and digital clocks that have numbers. On the analog clock, the short one is the hour hand and the long one is the minute hand. And we learned that there are 12 hours for the hour hand and 60 minutes for the minute hand. And we can count them going from 1 all the way around to 60 back up to the 12. We learn that each number represents 5 minutes for the minute hand. And we can find the minutes by skip counting by 5's, then counting on each additional minute. So this minute hand is pointing right here. We count 5, 10, 15, then we count on by 1's, 16, 17. So that's pointing to 17 minutes after the hour. We learned that an analog clock can be divided into two parts, after the hour, or past, and before the next hour, or two. We also learned that the clock can be divided into quarter hours of 15 minutes each. So that's a quarter, that's a quarter, that's a quarter, that's a quarter. That's one-fourth, 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 and one-fourth. We can tell time to the minute by skip counting each number by fives, then counting on one minute at a time. Here, the minute hand is pointing right here. We start at 12 as the zero and say 5, 10, then count on one minute at a time, 11, 12, 13. The minute hand is pointing to the 13, and this hour hand is pointing towards the 8, so the time shows 8, 13. And the minute hand moves one little mark for each minute it's 13 minutes past 8 o'clock. And we learned that the minute hand points to the 12 when it's o'clock, and it points to the 6 when it's half past, or 30 minutes past the hour. So this is 2 o'clock, the hour hand's pointing on the 2, the minute hand's pointing on the 12, it's o'clock, it's 2 o'clock. Here, the hour hand is in between the 2 and the 3, so it's not 3 o'clock yet, it's still in the 2's. And because the minute hand is pointing to the 6, it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes past 2, it's 2.30. We learn that the hour hand points to the hour when it's o'clock, or in between the hour and the next hour when it's half past, or 30 minutes past the hour. So just remember, when it's in between two numbers, it's still the previous number. It hasn't gotten to that one yet, so it's not 3 o'clock yet. It's still in the twos. Now take a look at this clock. Do you see where the hour hand is pointing? It just went past the 8. It's in between the 8 and the 9. That means it's not 9 yet. The hour is still 8. And the minute hand is two marks past the 7. Here we have the seven, and then there's two more marks. We skip count the minutes by fives and count on each additional minute. And this is clockwise, going around the direction that the hands go. We start at zero and say five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and now we count on each additional minute one at a time. We're at 35, 36, 37, so the time is 8.37. And we can look at 837 as how many minutes there are to or before 9 o'clock. Because once this minute hand keeps going this way and gets to the 12, the hour hand is going to move up and point to the 9 and it'll be 9 o'clock. So how many more minutes are there until 9 o'clock? Counting counterclockwise, that's going the opposite direction of the hands, we start at the 12 is 0 and count 5, 10, 15, 20, then 
count on each additional minute, 21, 22, 23. So we skip counted by fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, and then count it on one at a time, 21, 22, 23. So it's 23 minutes to 9 o'clock. We can also say it's 23 minutes before 9 o'clock. The time after the hour uses the previous hour. This would be 510. It's 0, 5, 10 at the 2 for the minute hand. The hour hand's pointing to the 5. So this is 510, or we could say it's 10 minutes after 5, or 10 minutes past 5. And the time before the hour uses the next hour. So if we've got starting with 0 and we go counterclockwise 510, this is 10 minutes before 5 o'clock. So the hour hand has not touched the 5 yet, but we're, because we're counting how many minutes it is until the next hour, we can say it's 10 minutes before 5. It's also 4.50. Because it's in between the 4 and the 5, and it hasn't touched the 5 yet, it's still in the 4s. And we can start here and go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So that would be 450, but we can also say it's 10 minutes before 5. Here we take a look at this clock. We can see that the hour hand is in between the 9 and the 10, so it hasn't gotten to 10 yet. The hour is still in the 9s. We look at the minute hand and we count by fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, and it's pointing to one more little mark, so that's 21. We can say it's 21 minutes after 9, or we can say it's 921. For this one, it's almost to the 3 o'clock. It's not quite, but it's almost. So we start here and go counterclockwise, counting by fives. That's 5. And then there's two more little marks, so that's 6, 7. So we can say that's 7 minutes before 3 o'clock. We can also see that it's still kind of in between the 2 and the 3, so it's still in the 2s. It hasn't gotten to 3 yet because it's before 3. We can say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and then count on 51, 52, 53, and say that it's 2, 53. So we can tell time for how many minutes after the hour it is, or how many minutes before the next hour it is. On this digital clock, we can read this time as 8.13. 8.13. We can also say it's 13 minutes after 8, or we can say it's 13 minutes past 8. And remember, when the clock hands go clockwise, the numbers are going in order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. And they're counting up. When they're going counterclockwise, the numbers are going to count down 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and so on. See? So clockwise, they're counting up, and counterclockwise, they're counting down. So we can write the time another way because each hour contains 60 minutes, we can find how many more minutes we need to count on to get to 60. If we're at 7.55, it's five minutes before eight o'clock. We need five more to get to 60 minutes to make a new hour. And we would count 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. That would be the five minutes, so it's five minutes before eight. 16 minutes after three is 316. Take a look at this clock. It's 815, 5, 10, 15. And look, this fourth, this quarter of the hour right here is made up from the 12 and the minute hand. See that? That would be after or past. This would be two or before. And this little quarter would be after, this little quarter up here would be 2. So we can say this is a quarter past 8, because that's one quarter of the hour. We could say it's a quarter after 8. And here, 
this little quarter between the 9 and the 12, and the hour hand is not quite pointing on the 9 yet, we can say it's a quarter to 9 or a quarter before 9. Because the face of an analog clock can be divided into four quarters, one, two, three, four, or four fourths, each quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. This is 15 minutes. This is 15 minutes. If we do 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15, it'll equal the 60 minutes. 15, 15, 15, 15. That's 60 minutes. That's one hour. When the minute hand is on the 6, it's halfway around the clock. And it's at 30 minutes, which is half of one hour. So we can say the time is half past the hour. Because the hour hand is in between the 8 and the 9, it's not 9 yet, so it's still in the 8s, this clock shows that it's half past 8. So remember that we can tell time to the minute by skip counting each number by 5s, 5, 10, and then counting on one minute at a time, 11, 12, 13. The minute hand is pointing to the 13. So go to the Joanne School Facebook page image section and you'll see images of blank clocks that you can copy, paste, and print to use when learning about telling time. We're going to talk about AM and PM next. That's morning and afternoons compared to nighttime. And I hope I'll see you there and I hope you're doing really well. Bye.